Hey guys, welcome again to Julian's Green Room and hey, Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday break. I know I did. I know I haven't made a video for about mm, two weeks or so, but that's because I was just taking a little break, taking a little vacation, hanging out with the family, eating caramel cake, eggnog, that whole deal. You know how it is. But hey, we're back. It's a new year. It's 2017. We can leave 2016 behind us and look forward to a whole new slew of movies as well as TV shows and everything in between. So what movie are we going to talk about first in 2017? It's actually a movie that came out in 2016. The movie that I'm referring to and the movie that I hope that you, you know, clicked on this thumbnail for is, of course, La La Land. It's pretty strange that we keep running into each other. Maybe it means something. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. You could just write your own roles, you know, write something that's as interesting as you are. What are you going to do? I have my own club. Is that going to happen every time? I think so. Now, La La Land has been on the award circuit like forever. It's been on the tongues of everybody when it comes to award season forever. It was on my most anticipated list as well as a whole bunch of other most anticipated lists as well. Now, the number one question to ask yourself when you go see this movie is, is the hype worth it? And I'm here to tell you, yes, it's worth it. I know I said this about Moonlight, and if you want to see that, then watch my review right here. But La La Land, I believe, is the best movie of 2016. It is the last movie I saw in 2016, and I believe that it is the best. Better than Rogue One, better than Civil War, it's the best. Hands down, don't argue with me on this, fight me. La La Land is, I know people probably have said this like 100,000 times, and you know it's kind of overplayed and overused, but in all senses of the word and the phrase, this is a homage, it is an ode, it is a love letter to old school cinema. It is a love letter to old school musicals. This definitely echoes a lot of Hello Dolly and Singing in the Rain and any other musical that you could think of back in those times, despite the fact that it's being set in modern day Los Angeles. The movie follows two people who are living in LA, Ryan Gosling who is a struggling jazz musician who's very, very, very passionate about jazz and Emma Stone, who is a passionate actress who's very, very passionate about being an actress. After the two meet, their worlds pretty much change forever and they pretty much push each other to become uh, better than what they are right now at their current state. Now, since I mentioned Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling, I'm gonna start with them first. Their chemistry in this is off the charts. Uh, you guys have probably seen them in previous movies like Crazy Stupid Love a Gangsta Squad, but the chemistry here is it, it be blows all that out of the water. Like every time they're on screen together, every time they're having a conversation, when they're dancing, when they're singing, you just feel this kind of like interconnection between not just the two of them as characters, but the two of them as actors, that they understand each other and that they uh, are very much in this together and that they're there to, you know, kind of push each other to be the best thing that they can be. It is a romance that's probably kind of early to say but it's probably gonna live on in cinema as one of the best romances ever i'm probably saying that because like i'm on a high from seeing this movie like i saw it a couple days ago and it, it's been with me like honestly it's been like almost a week since i seen this movie and it just stayed with me and the big reason for that is because damien chazelle's directing is probably the best directing i've seen this year period damien chazelle has also directed the likes of whiplash which came out last year maybe a year or two before that I don't know, but he definitely shows that he was not a one-hit wonder. His sophomore effort in this movie is fantastic. The cinematography is just crisp, it's clean, it captures the LA spirit perfectly, and it made me actually just want to go out into LA and just explore that bit. All like, even though it was like one o'clock in the morning, I wanted to go do that because the movie just pretty much puts it out there and it makes it just look so real and loving. And I can't even explain it because it's. I'm gonna just do this. I hope that wasn't just creepy. Just oh, that's that's how I, that's how I can, can describe it. Just oh, L.A. Not only that, the choreography in this movie. Now, like I said, this is definitely an ode to like Hello Dolly and you know Singing in the Rain and all those movies. But the choreography in this, it's good to see in the modern day. I mean, just to see a bunch of people in L.A. traffic get out of their cars and just go into this one big one take dance number that's incredible the fact that they could have got anything wrong at any moment and i'm pretty sure they did before they eventually got it right but the fact that they did that it just it blows my mind how perfect they got it it jesus christ one of my favorite dance sequences is the one at the uh observatory with emma stone and ryan gosling that is fantastic it, just leave this review right now go see the movie and then come back and i because you got to see it right now but uh, guys, this this is the reason why I love the movies. It's the reason why I love movies because to create something like this, to build something just so just so pure and so like, uh, I, just get out and watch it. 
go, just go. It's this, this is gonna be a classic. And you know what? It's thanks to this movie that I'm going to change my rating system up. I'm not doing one out of tens. I'm not doing 100%. I'm not doing that. What I'm doing is I'm creating these words that will describe how I feel this movie is. And the top of the heap is going to be classic fantastic. And that's what this movie is. So guys, go see La La Land. It is a fantastic joy. I was smiling the entire time from ear to ear. Couldn't get enough of this movie. I walked out the theater smiling. I couldn't get out of my brain. And you know what? I'll say a quote from this movie that's very non-spoilerish. There's this one character who says, how are you going to be a revolutionary if you're too busy being a traditionalist? Just like that. Make this movie. That's how you can accomplish that. All right, guys. So have you seen La La Land? Do you think it's going to be nominated for a bunch of Academy Awards? Do you think it's going to win? Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, Happy New Year. Hope you had a great holiday. And... Welcome to 2017. We are going to be doing a lot of stuff, a lot of new stuff. So stay tuned, hit that little bell, hit subscribe, like my channel to keep this channel going with more content. And just know I'm a dude in his room talking to a camera.